There's been a shooting in Istanbul which has left three people wounded and two attackers dead. A man and a woman opened fire at a police checkpoint in front of a courthouse. Two of those injured were police officers. Sinem Kosovoglu, join us now from Iskenderun in Turkey. What more do we know about what's happened? Well, the number of the wounded increased to six. Three of them are police officers and three of them are civilians. And as far as we know, what uh, Interior Minister Ali Erlikaya uh, posted on his social media, the attack, the attempted attack in his words, uh, was uh, done uh, by the uh, Revolutionary People's uh, uh, Liberation Front. DHKPC, uh, which is a far-left organization uh, that is deemed as a terrorist group in Turkey. Uh, so far, what we know is that the investigation has been launched and uh, and the police uh, is trying to find what is behind this and why this attack uh, was planned. But in 2015, the same organization targeted a prosecutor in Istanbul who was uh, working on a file that was related to Gezi protest uh, of 2013. And they took that prosecutor as hostage. And after six hours of negotiation, uh, the, the prosecutor uh, was uh, severely injured and he died. And the attackers were also uh, killed by the security forces inside the building. So we are waiting for more details uh, to arrive uh, by the authorities. Back to you. Okay, Sinem, thank you so much for that update from Turkey. Well, we can now speak to Ahmed Kesser. He's an associated professor of political science at Hassan Kalyonju University. He's joining us from Gaziantep. Thanks for your time with us on Al Jazeera. What are you hearing about this attack, sir? Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, as mentioned by Sanem, uh, already uh, the attack is uh, claimed responsibility by the Revolutionary People's Liberation Party and Front, and also the Minister of Interior, Ali Yarlikaya, clearly declared that the two killed terrorists are belonging to this organization. When we look at the background of this organization, uh, this is a ter terrorist organization included in the International Terrorist Organizations list as well, founded in 1994 by Dursun Karataş, uh, which has a Marxist-Leninist ideology. When we look at the terrorist attacks conducted by this or terror organization, they usually target the governmental officials, bureaucrats, police officers, military officers, etc., and they uh, aim at changing the overall regime and the system uh, to a communist, uh, Marxist-Leninist uh, regime. Uh, so uh, they usually cooperate with PKK, PID, terrorist organization as well in their uh, attacks, especially in the eastern part. What could but, be behind, uh, what, what, what do you think could be behind this particular attack that happened in front of a courthouse? We understand from Sinem that six people have been wounded and the two attackers have been killed. Uh, there might be several, uh, of course, uh, intentions. Uh, first of all, the upcoming local elections. So uh, the first uh, aim of the terrorist organizations is uh, creating chaotic environment, especially before the elections, to prevent the free elections. Especially, uh, uh, Istanbul is very important, a great metropolitan, to affect the results of these uh, elections. It might be one of the reasons. Uh, the second uh, is, um, as you know, uh, there is uh, another uh, ongoing uh, challenge, especially between the high-level courts, between the uh, Supreme uh, Court and the uh, uh, other court uh, mechanisms uh, regarding uh, justice system. So uh, to increase the tension uh, regarding the justly uh, effective implementation of the justice system and uh, to create a fair in the public is the main aim, objective of the terrorist organization in conducting this event, I think. Right. Obviously, I mean, we will await to see what the results of the investigation uh, is. The, the, uh, there is an ongoing investigation, according to our correspondent, Cinema from Istanbul. Um, but uh, how do you expect the government to respond? Uh, of course, uh, first of all, uh, by using the network uh, and communication uh, systems, uh, of these terrorists, I think uh, the, the investigators will uh, try to reach uh, who is uh, behind uh, the key point uh, at this attack, who targeted, 
who collected intelligence. And I think we can expect more uh, arrestments uh, after this one, uh, because uh, the connections and network, uh, including all the people, especially located in Istanbul and elsewhere, will be designated and uh, they will be arrested. So we can see upcoming operations, uh, police operations as well. All right. Thank you. Ahmed Kasser, we thank you for joining us from Gaziantep. Thanks for having me.